And then we get this ending where I guess it's Judgment Day where Sarah Connor tells us about our morality. Mm -hmm. The unknown future rolls toward us. I face it for the first time with a sense of hope because if a machine can learn the value of human life, maybe we can too. This was weird to me because the whole idea of Terminator series is mm -hmm. is machines versus humans. And so like, like Sarah Connor is living in a world where she's afraid of machines coming by and, and killing mm -hmm. all the humans. So, that, But then at the very end of Terminator 2, she tells us that we need to be friends with it. We need to love each other. We need to love other humans. But it, it's, just, it's just weird because she's been living her life against machines. So why, why, why are we hearing this now? Why yeah, is she saying this? It's super weird because, yeah, her entire last decade plus of her life has been obsessing over the human-robot war. Not human-on-human mm -hmm. -human war. Even though that is the ultimate reason why we did the weapons research to create Skynet that created the human-on-robot okay. war. But in her mind, it's the human-on-robot war, which is now the pressure is relieved. Like, it's it's over. Mm -hmm. So... To, was she doing an immediate pivot to hu human political problems? Like, what is this? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> she should just relax and be like, you know, I, I stopped the robot war, yeah. so fine. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I did my shit. Yeah. And, like, to have the relief of, like, the burden is off. But <laughs> it's like immediate pivot. We shouldn't have human war anymore. Right. I mean, we've had human war for as much as long as we've had humans. And mm -hmm. we've been stable enough to keep growing. And so, so it's yeah. it's just strange. It's, I didn't understand why she said this. It feels also, it felt like she was the wrong person to say this. Absolutely, because this has not been her journey, right? She's, right? Her journey's been against the robots. It would feel better if somebody like Miles Dyson, or maybe somebody in weapons research, or maybe somebody in the military who is part of the program, to mm. say something like this. To be like, you know, we got to start not making these weapons of war to kill people. Like, this is why we got into this problem, but not mm -hmm. her, not not Sarah Connor, not her. right? Uh, right, right. It, it also would have made sense for someone from the future. So if if right. if John Connor, future John Connor, adult John Connor, or Kyle Reese had said it, if they're like, mm -hmm. life is so precious. I know what it's like to be in a population of like ten thousand. Mm -hmm. You guys have seven, six billion. Like, mm -hmm. we need to treat life as precious and fight with and, right. and fight for each other, not against each other. That would make sense. But for Sarah Connor, she's never lived that life. She's never lived in that world where there's only a, right. a handful of people left on the planet. Right. Right. Maybe with a few years after this, maybe in older age, maybe she'll get be able to find some wisdom like that. But immediately after? Weird. Wow. Also, did the Terminator value human life? Or was it just programmed to protect John? <laughs> John specifically, right? right? I mean, I mean, it was ready to kill lots of other people right. until John was like, "Don't kill them." He's like, "Fine, right. I'll shoot Stay them fine. in the leg." Right. But valuing human life is different than being programmed. I'm not quite sure how it's different. Not quite, sure, but it doesn't feel the same. You know. I mean, if 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 Arnold, if the T one one hundred one wasn't told explicitly not to kill people, then he was ready to kill people. Right. So he never kind like of, kind, of, kind of anyone. <laughs> right. He never learned the value. He was just told not right. to do it. Right. So that's that part's not even right. Okay, Weird. Sarah Connor. Yeah, Sarah Connor. That's okay. That's okay. She can have. She saved humanity. That's fine. Do it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Go retire. Do whatever you want now. Can you can your soapbox. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs>